What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the What Was I Saying podcast. I am Matt Bowler. I am Jeremy Stacy. And we are sitting here with our musical guest. It is yes. the spin- in the studio now, the They're Spin Doctors. With us. And I don't know how long you can play this without the uh, actual. Well, we don't want them knocking on our front door, so. No, you can't. But, but it's what's a good going song. on, everybody? Taking us back. Taking us back. I tell you what, we've had uh, troubles getting this thing set up. I mean, yes, it's so easy when you go to a, like a podcast and you just hit the play button. You have no idea the respect that you should have for the people who do it. <laughs> oh, I'm like, oh, a podcast? Yeah, let's just do let's that. Let's just do it. Oh, my god. We just gosh. met him a few months ago, literally, and uh, we're like, hey, let's do a podcast. Okay. And <laughs> months later, lots of technical difficulties. We're here. Yes. And um, a little bit about us and our background, I guess. Yeah, should, why, should, should like, you're probably like, why do these guys get a podcast? Yeah, why well, should I listen to that? What makes you so special? Why did I hit play on you? Well, let me tell you why. There it is. Well, we both have a background in improv, yep. so we both did that. We both are from Alabama, mm-hmm. and uh, we met up at Trivia a few months ago, and ever since then, we've just become good friends, and yeah. then we realized, hey, I think you're funny. He thinks I'm funny. Maybe y'all think we're funny. Let's do a podcast. And that's exactly how it went down. I couldn't explain it better myself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and our name comes from, because we were our, we were our first like planning meeting trying to do this, like... Every time yeah, I get trying to say right. something, Matt was like, what was I saying? Like, he was forgetting what he was saying, so it wasn't that he forgot what I was saying. It was funny. Anyway, yeah, I'd be in the middle of a sentence, and then we did start saying, and I'm like, wait, what, what, what was I saying? What was I saying? And uh, I don't know. It could have been the drinks or whatever we were having. The fireball shots. Yeah, so uh, we've been holding off on kind of really talking because <laughs> yes. we hadn't seen each other, and we were saving it for the podcast. So what's been going on, man? Let's hear it. Well, right now, tomorrow is the Eclipse Day. Oh, yeah. The Eclipse Day. I forgot all about that. I don't know if there's a name for it or not. I don't know if it's like the, oh, yeah, I saw her the other day. The Great American Eclipse is what ABC was calling it. Oh, they would. The Great American And people are like, you would think, we live in Florida, by the way, so we're here in the sunny, beautiful, hot, very hot. Super hot. Gulf Breeze, Florida. And so, normally when a hurricane comes, people start like, taking everything off the shelves now everyone is um scraping to try to find eclipse glasses oh yeah like everyone like people are literally like i got 20 dollars a pair it's like they're like groceries or they're you know yeah the um guys and i've heard this story from somebody you probably heard the story from somebody else but they were selling them on amazon and amazon's going after them because mm. they were they put on their NASA approved and all this stuff. Well, they're not. So <laughs> I've heard that, and then you know I didn't know anything about the eclipse. I'll be honest. And then I feel I'm like, like I'm one of the only people that don't care about it. Like I mean, it's awesome thing, but I don't. You know, maybe that's NASA coming to get us. If you hear something in the background. Yeah, I think that was a motorcycle. It was the Amazon seller. Yeah, as soon as I mentioned him, they're like, what'd you say? But I don't know, like, I, I mean, I think it is a cool thing, but it's not a thing where I'm ro- wanting to risk my eyes for it. I, you know, I don't care. And is yeah. it bad tonight? I know, care? I don't. I mean, if you care about it, that's fine. We're not judging. No judgment at all, but just don't yeah. see a thing. And also, it. you'll probably hear this after the eclipse, so let us know how oh, it was. That's so true. <laughs> that <laughs> is so true. Yeah. So we're coming to you from the past. So let us know how your clip sits. Yes. And not only is there glasses, last night I drove past our Krispy Kreme local, and the line was wrapped around the, the building twice, and it was going down the road. Where was this? In Krispy Kreme. Oh, wow. You know why? Uh-uh. There's Eclipse Donuts. I swear to chickens. Holy wow. People are freaking <laughs> out. I talked to my mom, who lives in, uh, about an hour away. She was like, oh, I really want to go to Krispy Kreme. I'm like, why, Mom? And she's like, oh, those Eclipse Donuts, all they are are chocolate dip donuts. Oh, but no, they're Eclipse Donuts. But, yeah. Krispy Kreme. I mean, hey, you know, props for Krispy Kreme cashing in on the Eclipse I mean, money. I don't get me wrong. I ain't said no to a donut, but yeah. but I don't stand in no line for it like that. That's cool for an Eclipse Donut. <clears throat> yeah, it's crazy. I don't think I don't see the big deal. But, again, if you're a chocolate fan, if you're an Eclipse fan, no judgment. We're just sharing our opinion. Yeah. You I know. got a text the other day, um, and they're like, hey, do you sell any of the uh, – uh, whatever eclipse glasses 
<laughs> and I'm like, no, you know, and I made up something. But I about bet you wish thing. you did. Whew. Yes. Like for real. I feel like it's almost like the Y2K thing. I mean, it's not as crazy, but like, remember all that Y2K product people had, and then afterwards, mm -hmm. like you're like you wish you had that money, even though clips classes don't cost that much, but still. Yeah. Um. My sister got two pairs from somebody that she knew who had to, I don't know, she was the one that texted me, hey, do you have the glasses? And she ended up having to go through all these loops and hoops and finally got the dude's last four pair. But, I feel like it's like zombie apocalypse or like the Hunger Games or something. Like yeah. people are like freaking out over Eclipse glasses. So definitely let us know if you saw the Eclipse, if you liked it. I think I might go outside just to say, oh, it's dark, but... <laughs> that was okay. It's dark I mean, out here. You know what's crazy is I probably wouldn't even have known that an eclipse even happened. Oh, that's true. That's true because you work inside a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I would just they'd be like, "Hey, did you that's see the true. eclipse? The what?" See, I don't understand. Like, I guess for me, because I know their news coverage is actually gonna be doing it, so you can see it on the news. They have special lenses. Mm -hmm. So I don't. I know some people like to physically go outside and see it, but to me, I could just pull up. On YouTube, what they clip looks like. Well, you can go outside right now and then shut your eyes. <laughs> That's true. And then open them back up and bam. You bam. Saw an eclipse. eclipse has happened yep. right here. Nobody else saw it but you. I just think it's funny. Yeah. But, you know. So, I don't know. What else has been going on with you? Oh, man. I've been working, working, working. <laughs> And I know working for just, the weekend. It's just like um, oh, just been working. That's yeah. it. But isn't that funny? Like the older we are, that's that's what we say. I feel, I feel like a slob or something saying that. Like people just asking, so what you mean? I'm oh, just working. The other person, I'm oh, just working. That's what it's like. Yeah. you're an adult now. That's what you do. The time goes by like because you don't really think about it because you're in your rhythm and everything. But then somebody's yeah. like, hey man, what have you been up to lately? Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, you don't know nothing. what to say. Yeah, you're like. I have I done anything? But no, here's the funny thing is you say nothing, but yet you've been so busy. No doubt. Isn't that hilarious? Mm -hmm. We always say nothing, but yet our time, our schedule, our sleep deprived selves, totally different. Yeah. You know? But then again, it's like, I don't think anybody actually cares. Like if, <laughs> cause sometimes, <laughs> Hey man, how's it going? Oh, well it's going. I got dead gum. It just, I just, like, I just shot someone. Thing. Oh, okay. Really? It's like, they just like in one ear and out the other. Like they didn't care, but I don't yeah. know. It is so awkward. People do that, especially like through text. Hey, what's going on today? Nothing. How's your day going? Good. Good. And then from there, you don't know how to move forward. God. Especially when you first start talking to someone. Like, yeah. It's like, oh, so, you might want some background on us. Um, oh, yeah. And then I need, after we give some background, <laughs> I need to hear about the brunch. Uh, no. Yep, I need to hear about it. So Jeremy went on a date. A brunch date. A brunch that. date. I've never been a big fan of the brunch dates. I like brunch because I love breakfast. Yep. And so, but it's just, I've always heard dates during the day is friendship zone anyway. Like, yeah, it's just always the thing. Um, so it's true, but it's just funny when you get done with a lunch date. Um, it's just because it's, you still have the whole rest of the day. Yep. So then if you ask the person, well, hey, what are you doing for the rest of the day? And then because it's almost like because I was like, well, should we go to a movie afterwards? Like because I don't ever go to the movie for the first date because to me, um, I, mean, I think you should do dinner and a movie. Don't just do a movie because in a movie you can't talk. Well, you know I mean? I'll tell you. I'll tell you a funny thing. Um, the thing with the movie is what I would do. <laughs> oh God! And I'm giving y'all a little inside baseball. Uh, <laughs> this is how I would do a dinner or movie type thing. I would find out what time the movie starts, mm -hmm. and I would tell them. You know, if I was meeting them and I had to pick them up, I would always show up about thirty to forty-five minutes early. And I would go ahead and get my ticket. You know, uh -huh. but then I would be standing in line. I go. Can I get, oh, God, 7.30? I thought it started at 7. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I guess, uh, and I, there was always a Panera. Oh, there was I a, see what you're saying. There was a Panera Bread uh, oh my right across the road. Dude, I had it down to a science. And so you get your, technically you're talking, but you got to do it real quick because you, you don't want to miss the movie. And so okay. it's just a skim thing. So you eat, boom, it's fast. And Panera wasn't like, I mean, it's fast yeah. food, but it's not like, hey, let's go get a McDonald's hamburger. Yeah. So I would go there, talk to him real fast, you know, get all that down, eat, and then, oh, crap, we got to get in the movie. And then when I got in the movie, I'm like, and I would say this line every time. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. And it would be before, like, previews. I'd be like, I'm sorry. I didn't, uh, 
I didn't even think that, you know, a first date, <laughs> movies, that's a terrible idea because we can't talk. And they're always like, oh, it's okay. Da, da, da. And I'm like, gold. <laughs> You're giving away your secrets, you pimp. That's it. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. So tell them a little bit about you and why. And then I want to hear the date story. Well, first off, like, I like the gentlemen. I like the guys. And uh, Matt likes the ladies. Yep. And so it's funny, like, they hear each other's stories about that and everything. So... Um, the guy was a really nice guy. We, you know, we sort of put off cause we were both busy. I'm busy during the week. He was busy with his family stuff. And so we finally just decided to go on the date. Went good. But again, it's just that awkwardness cause it's in the middle of the day and you don't know where to go from there. Yeah. How'd you meet him? And then, um, through, I, I want to say plenty of fish or tender. One of those two, I think, yeah. I think it was plenty of fish. It was plenty of fish. Oh, okay. And so, um, which is still like the whole dating thing is just crazy. Um, but anyway, so I just think it was it was just awkward. And then, because after the date, you're like, do I text first? Does he text first? And then I felt like I was the only one texting, blah, blah, blah. So it's just, dating sucks sometimes. It's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. So how did it go at the actual date? The actual date was good. Okay. I mean, the food was good. <laughs> it's funny. The food was excellent. But the conversation was good. And I think I think that's what the thing that gets me is when you hit it off with someone. Because sometimes you could tell when it's going to be awkward. Right. Then afterwards, you're like, peace, deuces. You know what I mean? When you mm -hmm. can talk again, happy, happy, boom. But when the date goes good is when I get so pissed off. Huh. You know what I mean? Because you're like, what happens? Right. I almost wish it was if it was not going to work out, it was just a horrible date. And then that way, you boom. You know what I mean? Yeah, then you don't, you're not thinking. Mm -hmm. So... Is he not texting you back, or no, you not texting? No, no, no. So I'm just, I'm done. So yeah, it's just you know another flop. Who paid for it? If he's listening to this, oh, that's one thing. Like with, I don't. Um, I always do separate checks. Okay, no so, matter what. Another thing is one thing is different between straight guys and like um, gay guys. Like we don't really have that responsibility. You know what I mean? Yeah, I no feel doubt. like that. Yeah. Because it's such a noble thing for the guy to always pay for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, always pay. But then nowadays, women want to be very independent, too, so they don't like guys doing it. So it's just, there's, I feel like there's a lot more rules, you know, um, but with us, it's sort of just, boom. Yeah. Oh, well, that, pay, that makes it easy. Yeah. yeah. It is, uh, but it is funny, though, that that one awkward moment when you know the waiter is coming to ask that question, and then sometimes you look at each other, or sometimes, you know, or if you get an appetizer, do you split it or something? You know, it's just, mm -hmm. it's just so funny. Like dating etiquette is so, I don't know, it could be so nerve wracking. And um, especially like me, I mean, I don't go on a bunch of dates, so that, that could be it too, you know? Yeah, so. I'll go on them sometimes and I just say stuff just to crack my own self up. <laughs> like, I think I lost my filter a while back, but, but it's just. I don't know. I find it hilarious sometimes because I'll say stuff because they won't know my sense of humor yet. That's true. They don't know me. And I'm like, man, that was funny. And they look at you like, oh, my God, is he serious? That's like, so I don't know, like, how to take it. And I'm like, no, I'm just kidding. I mean, I mean, I have to say, no, I'm just kidding, like, a hundred times on the first day. Yeah. But and see, in the sense of humor, you've got to have. Like, that's one of the things. Like, I mean, of course, none of us, I mean, we're, we're being honest. That's the, and I think that's another thing, too, is – um um, guys versus girls. And again, this is all just my opinions, but it's guys were so much on looks kind of thing and girls are more on feelings. That's just the way I feel. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like they'd rather have the flowers. We'd rather see them, their breasts or something. You know, that's right. just how guys are. You know what I mean? Everything's mm -hmm. turning on. Um, I think I always go back to like the 50 shades. Girls would rather read about the 50 shades and imagine about it and drool over that way. As guys, we'd rather see the porn parody of 50 shades. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just the mm -hmm. two. That's how our minds would just, we're just wired that way. And so it's just funny how things have worked out that way. But but I don't know. So it it, it flopped. But back to the drawing board. You know? No doubt. And I don't know. You should have taken them to get an Eclipse Donut. That's true. Oh, my Stand God. That line. See, that thing, they didn't have it. Funny story, though, sidebar. My brother took this girl on a date. I think it was their first date. And uh, my brother's older than me. And I always hear his dating stories. So he took this girl to a date. And... Um, they went and saw the Friday third I know Nightmare on Elm Street. She didn't tell him that when she sees blood, she throws up. No way. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so they're literally like getting to the theater and like they like go um to the <laughs> sit they're like sitting in the middle of the theater. And like of course, like I mean, when you see a, a, a Freddy movie, the first point ten seconds is gonna be blood. And she barfed everywhere on the first day. But it's so. kinda like but I mean, how do you not tell somebody? I can see girls like, "Hey, you want to no. go see the Friday or the yeah. Freddy Krueger movie?" Yeah. Um, 
yeah, sure. <laughs> and then like, Bleh. like, why didn't you tell me? It I was like I always laugh at that story. It just anytime I see um, a Nightmare on Street movie, it makes me think of that story. So it's, did they leave? Like, right there? oh well, of course. I mean, she threw them everywhere, and of course they didn't date. You know. Yeah. Thank God, you know, I've got an amazing sister-in-law she now. Like, but this date sucks. <laughs> blood, it's b- the blood. That's the reason. That's what cracked me up about it. But I can see how some girls are like that. Though some girls, because they don't want to. Um, you have some girls who just boom, they tell you what they want. Mm-hmm. Which I think is, if I was a straight guy, I would rather have that. No doubt. But you, I mean, ever. It but never but then you have some girls who are so timid. You know, they're afraid to. You know. Oh yeah, they don't make decisions. They don't say it, so. And then once you make one, they're like. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> like well, golly. Yeah, it's just dating. It's funny. just I think with apps and all, it's so funny. Like thinking about our parents and how they met, like not even having cell phones and no oh, yeah. no internet, you know. And this generation is about that. Like that's how they meet people. Yeah, you know, it's it blows my mind. Like you you are you are a little square picture is your first um, uh, impression of someone. Yeah, there was no texting. Hey, I'm outside. Come yeah. out. It's yeah. you talk on the phone. Hey, yeah. it's seven thirty tonight. We're gonna be here. Mm-hmm. And if you're not there, that's back. Whenever so, you would tell everybody, you would just tell them a place, mm-hmm. like meet at the McDonald's or meet at the Chevron parking lot. Like, yeah. You know, and I think that's so funny. I mean, like, like back home, like now our parents would tell us, you know, whatever. But I remember growing up, you know, when the light, when the street lights came on, you knew to go back inside. Oh, yeah. You know, as a kid. Mm-hmm. That's what we, you know, kids nowadays, they're five years old and they have an iPhone. Right. Not the world. You know? I remember walking around with the big uh, portable phones yeah. when, when they first the became ones? wireless. No, no, not cell phone, like in the okay. house. Remember when they first made portable phones? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And they were huge. And the antenna was like, yep. Ugh. I remember those. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I can walk everywhere with this yes, thing. Yes. I thought I was the coolest thing ever. And then when the, the batteries would like die, I'm like, what? You know, then you have to use a, a um, rotary phone. See, There's we said rotary a, phones. Well, I better not give away How old are you? an idea. I am 28. I am um, 37, so just so you guys know our, our age difference. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, yeah. I, you <laughs> you know, didn't even I'm, say that. never asked that either. I know. That's funny. I didn't know how old you were. I thought you were like maybe 30 or going on. My birthday's September 11th. So, there you so, go. so it's coming up. Technically 29, 30, but I'm not ready to say 29 yet. I'm telling you, I'm, I always tell people I'm three years from 40. And so, my 30, I was terrified to turn 30. So scared. Like, I just, I don't know what it was. Remember the night of my 30th birthday, I was going to see one of my favorite bands, Dashboard Confessional. Oh, yeah. And we got into a wreck going to the, like, I mean, it was just one of my bucket list items. I always wanted two things before I turned 30, an 80s theme birthday party and um, to see Dashboard Confessional. And so, we saw Dashboard, I think, on a Thursday. And then that Saturday night, we had an 80s birthday party for me. My friends threw it. Mm. And... We literally was about to pull into the parking lot, and we hit this um, guy. Oh, his, his, his hair BMW. was everywhere. Huh? His hair was everywhere. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, my God. I love <laughs> I love that. And it just it, 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 it threw me for a loop because the, I don't know what it was. I was just – I don't know. I felt like it was 30 was such a milestone for me. I was like, I just want to live to 30. And then when you get into your car, you're like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. It wasn't even a bad car wreck. But, um, but I don't know. It's just there's certain milestones in your life. So you, yours is coming up. Yeah, and then, I don't know. We start judging ourselves. Whatever. I think that's the thing, too. We we judge ourselves too much. Yeah, I could see that. We don't need to. Yeah, I'm like, well, and I guess I'll save it for another podcast on kind of the whole background and the history of things. But, yeah, man, so let's get off of this topic. Yeah. That's all depressing. Hey, you're getting older. Sorry. It's your birthday coming up. You're only going to have so many more. I see the Grim Reaper behind you now. God. Oh goodness! So, what else? No you got agenda, for me? people. We have no agenda. Oh, no agenda at all. That's why we're like, okay, we're like looking at each other. What are you gonna talk about? Da, da, da. We are gonna have people though. Come on. Like, oh yeah, so we're gonna dominate this thing. So if you have... like this one, then you will love the rest of them. And if you don't like this one, tell us what you don't like about it. And also, you'll love the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> you hate this that, one, this you'll tell great. us if we suck or if you liked it. Thumbs up. You know, thumbs down. And don't, and the thing about internet stuff is if you say thumbs down on something, tell us why. Yeah. Bro. I'm okay. I'm okay with being booed. I just want to know why you booed me in a sense. I don't know. If you I know wanna, what I mean? Do, do I really want to know that? Do you want to know? like, how strong is your ego? We'll, we'll take it together. I think if we share it, we'll share the load. Yeah. 
but I, I think that's funny that like people are like all about like if, if people have been begging on Facebook for years for a um dislike button and Facebook still won't do it. I think it's so funny. Gosh, dude, they would wreck people. I know. My favorite thing in the world right now is gifts. That is the best thing in the world. Like, yeah, they're funny. Yes, I like and them. knowing whether you say GIF or GIF, that's another thing. I, what do I say? I say GIF. Yeah, is that what you I used to say GIF for years until I realized what it means. Graphic interface format, I think. And so I realized, oh, graphic. So you have to say the grr. Oh, that's how I knew. There you go. Bam. Boom. Everybody. Jeremy just saw for all of your for gift, all the world. Needs. We're gonna have a banner in Times Square. This, this is how it is on our podcast. Because that right there, even if it's let's just say that that's totally not even close, it sounds good to me, and that's what we're gonna yeah, go with. So from now on, that's what I'm telling people. <laughs> no, because of the graphics, you got to say the G sound, the grr. I mean, so it does. Gift. If you have to add the grr into it, or people won't get it, and they'll be like, oh yeah, oh. Like yep. a light bulb moment. You learned something too the other days, guys. The more you know. <laughs> well, what was I saying? Oh, I was saying girl. <laughs> yes, I was <laughs> As in gift. As in gift. I love them though. That's one thing I'm glad Facebook added. So glad. The uh dashboard confessions No, I'm thinking of Silver Chair where they changed um, their sound. Silver um Silver Chair. Yeah. Yeah. God, I forgot about that band. Yeah. What was their song? I know they had more than one song, but I mean, there was just, oh my gosh. And then there was Secondhand Serenade. Have you heard Secondhand uh, Serenade? Okay. Yeah, he's coming to uh, Mobile next in November. And um, he was came out around the same time. And um, it's funny because all those bands normally, um, they're one guy, but they're still the band. Like Dashboard Professional. Right, right, Chris, right, yeah. Uh, and um, God, I love Dashboard, though. I got to see them. When did I see them? I saw them in February this year. Oh, you saw Jess song? Mm hmm. Saw them this year. And um, I saw him in Atlanta for my 30th birthday, and then I saw him this oh, okay. year. So, and I would love to see him again. It's just one of my favorite. Uh, I'm a big concert goer, so I love live music. Something yeah. about it. I love when they do cover songs live, and they're just random, spontaneous stuff. The yeah. um, Man, I know a few. There's something like the hair was everywhere thing. Yes, that's the, Screaming Infidelities. Yeah. Yes. That's the one The first I thing I ever heard from them was a friend of mine. She introduced me to um, back when MTV... Number one, played music. And number two, when they did MTV Unplugged. Oh, yeah. Such, I mean, because that's what I love when you strip it out. I mean, um, Jay-Z even did an Unplugged back in the day. And people were like, how's a rapper going to do Unplugged? And he yeah. did. I mean, he just, you know, it was more freestyling, you know, not the... Nowadays, we have the computer synthesizer, you know, not synthesizers. That's the 80s. But <laughs> what is it? Um, what is the little wave you use, the, the computer? Auto-tune? Auto-tune. I couldn't think yeah. of it. I couldn't think of it. So, yeah. But now we have that nowadays, and so, but like, I just like when people just strip down their music, yeah, and play. What was the last concert you went to? You know, I was gonna go to Matchbox Twenty the other day. They were playing at the Wharf, um, the Twenty One Pilots. Oh, and, at the Wharf. I think it was uh, at yeah. the Wharf. I and heard it was it good. It was one of the best. Con it actually, it was the best concert I've ever been to, and I've been to a lot of. Them. I've heard I, a lot of people said that, and I don't. I don't. It's not that I don't like them, but I just mm -hmm. don't listen to them kind of thing. Right. You know what I mean? I'm not like against them, but I uh, hadn't heard too much of their stuff. But I heard it was one of the best because I think they're one of the ones that just play all these instruments. Oh, they do. And man, he got in the ball the and, and the... this big ball and he ran around on top oh. of the boats. And the drummer, you know, was out like kind of kid rocking it. You know, kid, kid rock, Rocky's kid rocking it. Yeah. Is that the drums? Can we trademark that? Oh, by the way, we're going to be filming our podcast. Um, this one won't be filmed, but. If you can only uh, see us, we're kid rocking it on yeah. these microphones. I'm right just now. kid rocking it up right now. Sounds but funny. We're going to be putting it on YouTube, and I think the YouTube channel, I think right now we'll probably call it, uh, what was I saying? Or wait, yeah. what was I saying? Or. It's all new to us, yeah, guys. I don't know, we just want, guys. We, we really, I don't know, we just want to put stuff out there, and um, we we just want to do it. You yeah, know? we figured And the, we're all new to it, so. Yeah, no doubt. The, uh difference in the backgrounds and it kind of was a big thing for a podcast because we're going to do a youtube channel too so look out for that yeah and it's funny because like i think that's what i love i love people that you have things in common with but yet you're different too oh yeah and i mean they're just great podcasts yeah so man i it's we got big dreams people <laughs> dreaming big so what besides um uh who did you say you saw Twin One pilots mm-hmm was your another good concert you like? Another good one. Let's see. 
saw Kanye West, mm -hmm. but back when he, um, gosh, guys, before he was crazy, was it College Dropout? Was his album? Oh, maybe I was that die. What was it again? I don't know. The uh, Matt is a former um, American Idol contestant. Right. Yeah. Man, um, that would have been such a good. That's like when I really started liking him. Um, um, Jesus. Um, was it Jesus Walks? Jesus Walks. But the uh, I'm trying to think if that was on the same album. I think it was. Oh, such a good album. It was right after Twister came out with Slow Jam. You know when they did Slow Jam with Twister, Twister and Jamie Foxx. Yes! So what was that? 03? Oh my God! God, was it 2003 or two? Oh my Lord! I'm for, I love love old school. I, it's not that I don't like Kanye now. It's just that sometimes it's so hard to separate the artist from the music. Sometimes. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I love Susan Sarandon. I don't know who she is. Yeah, yeah. But she's such a political activist, and some people don't like her movies because of that. Oh, well, that's... I think it's easier I mean, to separate actors, mm -hmm. but musicians, it's not. Because an actor, is, you know they're playing a part. You know they got a script they're reading. But sometimes with a musician, for me, it's the same... Per they're, the, they're the same person. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so I just think Kanye, again, he's so talented. But um, his ego, I think, is just... Yeah, blown up. You know? Well, I but mean, he's so talented. He though. knows what to do <clears throat> to get attention. He stays it in is, the media. It is. I just think, but it, the balls it takes to have an album called Jesus, like that, it rhymes with Jesus. I just think that's so yeah. funny. But I love him. Like I love him. Hey, he's, that's our future president. He <laughs> oh my God, he him. did say <laughs> he did say he was going to run for president. That would be hilarious. Which nowadays anybody can run for president. I mean, what are you gonna do, Kanye? Yeah. I mean, go for it. Go Just for do it. it. Who cares? Just do it. I won't vote for the Facebook guy. That's true. I'm gonna put that out there. Is that Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah. Oh, he wants to run. Yeah, yeah I know that. I, do, I just remember watching like these weird. Uh, well, like he owns a, like him and Amazon. Like if, if Facebook and Amazon and Google. I, I don't know how they would ever combine in a sense. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. If them Google, Amazon, and Facebook, the trifecta. They're like <laughs> the Holy Trinity, you know what I mean? Good. Not to be blasphemy at all, but you know, if they ever combined, it would just it would be over. Like it'd be boom, yeah. Drop the mic, and they're already. I mean, the monopoly, yeah. with it. But I'm and getting I always big feel into bad because I always talk about supporting small businesses, but yet this microphone came from Amazon, so I still, you know what I mean? I always say I want to support. Oh, small oh I'm businesses. not on Amazon. I no, love no. Amazon. No, I no, love I'm Amazon, just, but, but you know what I mean. But it's just. It's just funny because we always, that's how it is. Like, I was, what was it? Oh, I was watching a thing about, oh, there's still blockbusters around. I think there's 11 left in the world. Like a store. And most of them are um, in um, Alaska. There's still, oh, okay. today you can go to a blockbuster in Alaska. That's cool. And, um, but the funny part is about the whole story, is I don't know if you knew, but um, Netflix uh, offered blockbuster to buy them years ago mm -hmm. and then they, you're like oh no we don't want to have nothing to do with streaming service and that's what came around and bit them in the butt i think yeah. that's so funny put them out of business yeah and red box yeah it gets to, to me like the thing just keeping your eyes open you know what i mean just because of the same thing in your life if it's not the same thing you've done before like we've never done a podcast before right but you know what i mean but just stretching yourself and saying that's not what i would think i'd want to do you know like we both we both miss being on stage improv wise but this is sort of an improv stage Oh, well, it is. I mean, everything we're doing now is. Yeah. The, uh, I don't know, I'm big into conspiracy theories. <laughs> like, that is my dun, thing. Dun, dun. But the, uh, I what saw, is that? Oh, that's my I reminder hit, to take the trash to the road. Everyone here's got to take his trash to the road. But we're going to hit so the I am so glad snows. I'm not the only one. You have no idea. Like, I have, like, my calendar on my phone and computer. It tells me everything. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. Dude, if I'm I not didn't have that, no but point, if I didn't have that, you wouldn't do it because we get so busy. I, it's like, hey, let me you finish this TV Monday, show. That's what's funny is you know every Monday your trash has got to go out, mm -hmm. but we still got to set that alarm. And recycling's every Friday or every other. Oh, y'all's is separate. It's every other Friday, yeah. What? Well, y'all's is together. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Same see, time. that's what I need. That, but you would that's see that's too much though. Yeah. For them and to then separate. every Tuesday or Wednesday. See, I don't even know. Yeah, that. y'all's only come once a month. I mean, once a week. Uh, trash comes every Monday. Then every Wednesday is yard work, like you know. <laughs> yeah. Stay, but limbs. every other Friday is recycling. Oh, every other. Mm -hmm. uh. And then on the third Friday, you kill yourself because <laughs> you don't know <laughs> what you what you're don't doing. Know. Yeah. You're and like, then, why the heck did I move to the weird place? You don't know what to do at all because it's just nothing. Right. 
You're that like, is crazy. If I forget one much. more time, I'm going to shoot myself in the head. And then that is so crazy. Yeah. Ours comes like Fridays is our um, trash and recycle. Dude, that's bam. Boom. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> you see how long it took you to tell your story? And then I know. Like, well, Tuesday we <laughs> have this and Friday yeah, like, and every second month. On the solar eclipse. <laughs> it's the only can, time they pick up trash. Yeah, you can only <laughs> yeah. do your recycle bin with green labels on the solar eclipse date. God, it's just going to be trash cans full of eclipse donuts. Yes. And they're yes. just gonna be oh, my God. Them. Krispy Kreme boxes. All right, everyone. Enjoy your eclipse. All right. We have, we were going to make this podcast 30 minutes. So what is this? 32 seconds left. Gosh, when the timer's here, it makes me want to talk very fast. I feel like I only got 27 seconds, but I can't talk like that. So guys, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the, wait. What was I saying? What was I saying? First, first. First ever. Podcast. Yep. So let us know how we did, guys. We're going to be uploading this everywhere and as a matter of fact we'll probably put the audio on our youtube channel what? which has not been created yet so you're Dude, getting because my hair is not fixed at very, all the very first one audio so only. when we get this thing up and rolling it's going to be fun guys and uh right now we're just going to keep it at 30 minutes right there at it we're yeah. probably might go I to an hour good. because people i don't want to hear me more than 30 minutes I don't want to hear me at all. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I won't even listen to playback. No, no edits, no oh nothing. Oh, my gosh. So, guys, you have a great liked it. week. Yeah. Maybe is your weekend coming up whenever you listen to this. Thank you guys for listening. And we will see y'all in the next one. Fling, fling. Fling, fling.